Welcome to Professional Development for All Write, a program that helps middle school writers catch up and get ahead, whether English is their first language or not. The program includes a student handbook, a grammar skills book, and a free online teacher's guide. Let's take a look at the student handbook. This is All Write, a student writing handbook for middle schoolers. As you can see on the back cover, the book has five main sections, the process of writing, the forms of writing, the tools of learning, the proofreader's guide, and the student almanac. The process of writing section helps students understand the basics of writing, use the writing process, pre-writing, writing, revising, editing, and publishing, and practice the basics of sentences, paragraphs, and essays. The forms of writing help students to write the major modes, personal, narrative, explanatory, persuasive, literary, research, creative, and writing across the curriculum. The tools of learning focus on the skills that students need to be successful in any class, such as research, thinking, reading, learning, and speaking and listening. The Proofreader's Guide provides rules and examples for punctuation, mechanics, spelling, usage, idioms, sentences, and the parts of speech. The Student Almanac includes exciting pages on language, science, mathematics, and geography, perfect to inspire writing across the curriculum. Let's take a look at the process section and this chapter on pre-writing. Students build a file of writing ideas using a number of different strategies, including drawing a life map. They select a topic by analyzing the writing situation with purpose, audience, subject, and type. They learn about free writing, listing, clustering, and using the basics of life checklist. They review possible topics for the different modes, persuading, explaining, narrating, and describing. And they also peruse writing prompts that can get them going. Once they have a topic, students learn different strategies for gathering details about it, conducting research, and interviewing others. They learn about all sorts of different graphic organizers that they can use to get their ideas in order. They learn about planning, finding a focus, and choosing a pattern of organization. And they learn strategies for arranging their details, listing, and outlining. The chapter that follows addresses skills for writing and revising. Now let's take a look at the forms section with this chapter on writing informational essays. Students receive an introduction, they read a sample informational essay, use a diagram to think about the structure of the essay, and then follow guidelines to create an essay of their own, choosing a topic, gathering details, writing the first draft, revising, and editing. They learn about different types of informational topics, writing about a place, writing about an object, writing a definition, or writing about an event. The chapter that follows helps students write explanations. Now let's look at the tools section with this chapter on reading nonfiction. Students learn about the patterns of nonfiction using different graphic organizers to visualize what they're learning. Many texts include a main idea and supporting details. Others create a comparison contrast. Some follow chronological order or they analyze causes and effects. They might even talk about a process. Students learn the SQ3R reading strategy as well as how to use a KWL chart. And the chapter ends with a study reading checklist. The next chapter focuses on reading fiction. Now let's take a look at the proofreader's guide. It includes rules and examples for punctuation, mechanics, spelling, usage, idioms, sentences, and the parts of speech. This first page focuses on the rules for periods. The next two pages focus on question marks, exclamation points, and commas. Here we have a set of spelling rules and the beginning of a section on commonly misused words. You'll find lots of support for the parts of speech, such as nouns. Now let's take a quick look at the student almanac. It includes high interest pages on language, science, mathematics, geography, government, and history. Students might want to learn the manual alphabet. They can also practice manuscript writing and cursive writing. This page shows the three branches of the federal government as well as all the members of the president's cabinet. This page introduces the history of the United States. 
With a timeline that looks at literature and life, science and innovations, and U.S. and world history. Now let's take a look at the All Right Skills book. It contains activities that teach all of the rules in the proofreader's guide. You'll find lots of practice for marking punctuation, editing for mechanics, commonly confused words, creating and combining sentences and avoiding sentence problems, and activities for nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, interjections, and conjunctions. You'll also find a whole section of mini lessons that you can use to reinforce student learning, as well as daily sentence activities. Let's take a look at a few proofreading activities. Here we have practice for end punctuation, as well as using commas, and more practice with commas. Here we have activities for practicing sentence combining. Here we have mini lessons to improve spelling and to sort out commonly misused words. And here are some of the daily sentences that students can use to practice what they're learning. You can supplement your grammar instruction from the All Right Skills book by using the Write on Course Skills books for grades 6, 7, and 8. They contain cross-references to the All Right Handbook. Now let's take a look at the free online teacher's guide. You can get to it anywhere that you have internet access with no login required. Simply go to k12.thoughtfullearning.com and click on Teacher's Guides. This will bring up a page that is filled with teacher's guides. You can watch a video to get started. Getting started with your free online teacher's guide. If you are working with one of Thoughtful Learning's student writing handbooks, you may have noticed that there is a free online teacher's guide. And then scroll down to your teacher's guide for All Right. You can see that the teacher's guide includes a scope and sequence, year-long timetable, getting started activities, chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide to the student handbook, assessing writing, research basis, and activities and handouts. Let's look at the year-long timetable. This suggested year-long timetable presents one possible sequence of writing and language skill units based on a five days per week class. You'll note that it includes chapters from the handbook, as well as activities from the All Right Skills Book and the Write on Course Skills Books. In Week 1, you might want to start with some Getting Started activities. This page is full of activities that you can use to get your students acquainted with the handbook. Just click to download, and you will open a file in Word, which you can distribute digitally for students to fill out, or print out and have them fill out by hand. These files also, of course, can be opened in Google Docs. If an activity has specific answers, you'll find the answer key here as well. Let's go back to the year-long timetable. After some getting started activities, we'll use the front part of the book, including the table of contents, to help students understand how to navigate. Then we'll start with writing in journals and learning logs. Clicking that link takes us to the chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide. Here we see the opening page of the chapter, get a startup activity to introduce it to our class, See a Think About It quote. Review the state standards that are covered. And receive page-by-page -page help for teaching the material, including mini lessons. In week two, we'll look at a basic writing guide, one writer's process, and writing basic sentences. We'll support that with pages from the proofreader's guide, as well as activities from the All Right Skills book. You see that if we're using the Write on Course Skills books, we have a whole bunch of other activities that we could include as well. In the third week, we look at the traits of effective writing, and then we get students writing a major form, narratives. Once again, we see the opening page of the chapter, have a startup activity, a think about it quotation, the standards that are covered, and receive support for teaching the material page by page. As students are writing their narratives, they're applying the skills that they're learning about sentences. All right, let's go back to the table of contents. So we've seen the year-long timetable, the getting started activities, and the chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide to the student handbook. Let's take a look at assessing writing. This page provides a whole slew of writing rubrics for narrative, explanatory, persuasive, response, research, or workplace writing. It also leads to other pages, writing assessment for students, the traits of effective writing, using writing rubrics, and so on. 
Finally, let's take a look at the activities and handouts. This page gathers together all the downloads that you can get in your teacher's guide. Line diagram templates, 5W's charts, revising checklists, editing checklists, and so on. Well, that's a lot to remember. How do you keep track of it all? Well, simply go to k12.thoughtfullearning.com, click on Teacher's Guides, scroll down to the All Right Teacher's Guide, and you can download an All Right Program Sheet. The first page reviews the components of the program, the All Right Student Handbook, the Free Online Teacher's Guide, and the All Right Skills Book, along with the skills books from Right on Course. The second page then gives you a quick four-step process for getting started. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. Thank you for joining us for this professional development for All Right. We hope it helps your students catch up and excel as young writers.